Delia Olam and I've written a play called Who is Tahereh? Tahereh was a woman who lived in the mid 1800s in Iran. She, unlike most women in her time, received an education from her relatively liberal father who saw her talent. She went on to become one of the first 18 uh, people to recognize the station of the Bab, who is the founder of, uh, or the herald of the Baha'i faith. And one thing that she is infamous for is, um, is an act that was seen by some at that time as um, one of the worst things that a woman could do, which was to remove her veil in a public space in front of many of her male peers. She had a tremendous effect on everyone who listened to her, women and men alike, in sharing the teachings of the Bab that included uh, this appreciation and new understanding that humanity is one and that women and men are equal. And she fully embodied this. With this play, I wish to convey this incredible example of a human being who was able to respond immediately and with courage to the teachings of the Bab. And this principle of the true equality between women and men is something that perhaps has become almost ordinary but to recognize that it wasn't so long ago that it was completely extraordinary and that a woman recognizing herself as equal was so revolutionary, she got killed for it. And that the, the person that she was inspired by was the Bab. His writings had such a profound transformative effect that everyone around her was baffled. And that's something that I explore. And so it's been a very unique opportunity this year with the celebration of the bicentenary of the Bab to now look at the play and in more direct terms than I ever have before, who this, who the Bab was to inspire, not just her, but so many people at that time who arose to do such heroic things and so courageous and I find her example to still be ahead of our time, let alone her time. And that fascinates me and I love to just let it be there and for us to all wonder together about what this teaching really means and give us a chance every single time to ponder that and be changed ourselves. Look